What's up guys, Matt here at MKS Performance. Uh, today we're doing a bit of cleaning on the intake and exhaust valves for the 2 litre TFSI. Uh, and after that we're going to be doing the cleaning the intake and exhaust valves again for the BR6. Uh, it's actually quite a good opportunity to kind of talk about uh, these carbon cleaning companies that will turn up at your doorstep, charge you 100 quid, 80 quid, 60 quid, and pump some magical mysterious gas into the intake of your engine in the hopes that it will actually clean and decoke your engine claiming better miles to the gallon. Um, I'm not too sure about the physics and science behind it. Uh, I'm not going to mention any company names just for obviously legal reasons. Uh, but what we're going to show you here is a TFSI. Now the TFSI engine is a direct injection engine whereas the old VR6s is a port, di port injection, i.e. indirect injection. So this has fuel sprayed directly into the cylinder, whereas this has fuel sprayed directly into the intake port. Now, the benefits of having port injection is obviously that's your uh, intake valves, and you can see they're relatively clean. A little bit of bunk, a little bit of gunk build up on it, but all in all, it's pretty clean, all right? One of the reasons for that is because the fuel is sprayed directly before the intake valves and it has a cleaning effect similar to what water meth does to uh, the intake valves. So that reduces upset turbulence around the trumpet of the, of the intake valve. Air flows around it quite nicely and doesn't really disturb the engine too much. Uh, particularly if it's a naturally aspirated engine, it doesn't lose too much power like uh, the Audi B7 RS4s do, because they're naturally aspirated, any flow restriction they have is going to cause a real power loss. Whereas obviously with a turbocharged engine or a supercharged engine, because it's forced in, uh, forced induction, it has very little effect. Uh, well, not, I wouldn't say very little effect, but has lesser effect of it. So, I've cleaned up two cylinders worth, and I've left other two cylinders here to do. Now, these are the intake valves for the TFSI engine. They're almost like new again. So they're nice and clean. Now what I'm going to show you is what they look like before. That is completely gunked up. All right, you can't make out the trumpet or the transition to the stem of the intake valve. It's completely coked up. It's sticky tar, basically the way PCV systems work. Uh, it's your crankcase ventilation system. It feeds gases back into the engine uh, to be burnt off part of the combustion process uh, for better emissions. And as a result of that, the gases are then uh, become oily, stagnant, uh, and it starts to clog up the intake valves because to be fair, the only thing that should be going past an intake valve is petrol and air and boost. Uh, that is the only thing. So what we're going to show you now is how to remove this and the only way to remove it. Obviously when we do a uh, manual decokes on the engine, obviously we don't have a pillar drill like this. So we put a chemical down there and it's a good old fashioned scrapey scrapey. Now have a look at this. I'm going to put my, put my head torch on so you get a better look on the camera. Okay, now as you can see down here at the bottom of the rags, this is previous ones that I've cleaned earlier, all right? Now coming back to these mysterious carbon cleaning companies that turn up your doorstep again, charge you a fortune for the privilege. This gas that they're putting into your engine is supposed to remove this from an intake valve, okay? That's all very good, but if you are to put a gas into the engine, that is so powerful enough to remove this, and I'll show you how stubborn it is to remove. If you were to put a gas into your engine that is so effective at removing this, imagine what it's going to do to your engine. You have to remember that petrol or diesel, when it's sprayed into the combustion chamber of any internal combustion engine, that fuel will eventually work its way into the engine oil. It's just what happens. It's part of the blow-by blow by, uh, system in an internal combustion engine. So that a powerful, really 
corrosive cleaning agent that is going to be so effective at removing that that will eventually get into your oil uh, and then we'll eventually get into your bearing shells in your mains in your big ends and it's eventually going to fuck the entire engine so just watch this okay nothing special just a paint scraper now obviously the your valves are a hardened steel they'll be a lot harder than this thing is but still we have to be a bit careful so what i'm going to do is just a little scrape all right that is like tar all right i'd love to see a gas or these companies that claim that the gas that they directly inject into your intake system will remove that from an intake valve give it a spin it is like glue in fact it's more like what they put on the roads look at that no gas in the world that they put into your car is going to remove that without fucking the engine Now we can actually start to see fundamentals of the of the valve. We've got the trumpet and then the stem. So there we go, guys. When, particularly with the TFSI engines, because obviously we specialize in them, uh, we've done the I think it's the Mark III Focus ST, which is the new two-liter engines. They suffer from the same problem because they're a direct injection engine. Any. Uh, any means to remove this you can't there's no easy way about it that's why i think people seem to kid themselves in with these gases that they're injecting into your engine the only way you can physically remove these is to take the inlet manifold off close the cylinder and put a chemical down there or will not blast it if you're feeling posh uh, and that will be the only way you can remove the deposits from your intake valve there is no other magic mysterious wonderful ways it's just good old-fashioned cleaning. Uh, it takes time, it's laborious, it's smelly, it's corrosive, uh, but it's for an engine that's performance-oriented, particularly if it's naturally aspirated, it's a must. Uh, with the Audi B7 RS4s we've done previously, we're doing those almost every 20 to 30,000 miles because the way the PCB system works. Um, you can run catch cans. They do uh, help with obviously a catch can system. It, captures most of these deposits that land on your intake valves uh, but again the best thing is to have a, either have port port injection uh, or uh, water meth, inje uh, water meth uh, injection so there you go guys save your money